some stargazing with our friends from Jacksonville Magazine. They're on the lookout for celebrity sightings in and around town. Carrie Specklin's a writer for Jack's Magazine and blogs on their website. He joins us live via Skype this morning. So who has been spotted here in the River City, Ms. Speckman? Hi there, Beham. How are you? I'm doing great. So uh, let me do the question again. It, it's because, oh, yeah, that it's, it's because you're in a different long. time zone. You're over there in Riverside. I understand. That's why we got the satellite <laughs> live. Let me do this again, like it's live. So, Ms. Beckman, who's been spotted here in the River City? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Smarty pants. Uh, it, he's married to the lady who was uh, uh, the daughter or father of the bride. Yes, Brad Paisley is. And he was in town. He did a concert here. And there's a picture of him with... Let me see. Tim and Amber Brown, who won a 2009 Chevy Silverado for being the one millionth uh, fan to see him in concert this year. Wait a second, wait a second. So they're going to this country concert. They're thinking, okay, we're going to be jamming to the tunes. We're going to be having a good time. And he gives them a car? <laughs> yes. They, I guess when they um, turned in their ticket, they were told they got an upgrade to front row seats. And then after the concert, they were whisked backstage uh, to meet with him, they got their picture taken, and he said, uh, let's go for a walk. They walk outside, they see the Silverado, he hands them the keys, and the rest is history. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's very <laughs> he could cool. have at least sprung for a 2010, if you ask me. Uh, well, you know, you get a deal where you get a deal. Um, <laughs> this lady, you know, I, I don't quite understand this housewives phenomena, but she's from the housewives of uh, Atlanta, New York, which one? Uh, this one's from New York. Her name's oh, okay. Bethany Frankel. Okay. I don't really understand the fascination either, but... You know, was she nice? Was. Because there's one of them that's a real, well, full of herself. Yeah. No, I heard she was very, very nice down to earth. As a matter of fact, before she came to Jacksonville, she posted on her Twitter page uh, looking for places to eat while she was in Jacksonville. Oh, so cool. she got some suggestions from her fans, and she followed them, and she ate at Biscotti's, Moss Fire, and Bistro X. Oh, so she went for local uh, restaurants, locally owned she restaurants. She certainly cool. did. Very nice. Now, this next guy, he's probably best known as Oprah's trainer. He's been here on the show before. He is a super guy, and people love him. Yes, they do. That's Bob Green. Um, I got the chance to talk to him on the phone, and he was a delightful young man. But he was here for the Southern Women Show. He stayed at the Ritz-Carlton in Amelia Island. And I'm told that he was not seen eating anything except a skinny cow French vanilla truffle bar. Well, wait, wait, a skinny cow French vanilla truffle bar. I yes. didn't know they made such a thing. Well, now you know, and apparently they're very delicious. All right, and, and our final stargazing report comes to a late. Do, do you know how this lady got her start? Uh, yes, I do, because I saw her show. I know her life story. Yeah, because uh, she was on the Carol Burnett show, and they were looking for yes. somebody that could be, well, a Carol Burnett look-alike, but younger. And yes. Vicki Lawrence. I think she was 17, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but that's Vicki Lawrence. She was here doing a show called Two Woman Show, Vicki Lawrence and Mama. I'm sure you remember Mama. Ma, of course. Who doesn't? But she stayed at the River Suites at Con Club Continental. Club Continental. Oh, very nice place, yeah. Yes, I, she had river views. I heard you were nosing around back in the dressing room. <sighs> yeah, well, you know me. I'm nosing around everywhere. Uh -huh. And we were being escorted from meeting her to our seats. And I walked by an open dressing room door, and I said, that looks like Mama's wig. Wait and a minute. And so I walked back. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it is. So I took a picture. Did you try it on? Tell me the truth. <laughs> I was dying to. Now, tell me the truth about this. You were yes. going back from having just met her. They were, they were getting ready to throw you out, weren't they? I, tell me the truth. I didn't say that. Okay. Very respectful. <laughs> Jacksonville Magazine. Always a pleasure. Thanks. You too. Bye. It's 828. Four months after his death, Michael Jackson.